Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of matrices and determinants. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if the system of equations and the equations given are 2x plus 3y minus z is equals to 5, x plus alpha y plus 3z equals minus 4, 3x minus y plus beta z is equal to 7. So the question tells us if this system of equations has infinite solutions, then find the value of 13 alpha beta. So that's the question asked to us. And if I talk about answer choices that we have here, the options are 1, 1, 1, 0. The second answer choice, 1, 1, 2, 0. The third answer choice, 1, 2, 1, 0. And the fourth answer choice we have is 1, 2, 2, 0. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for this question that is given to us here. Let's try to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them. Let's try to solve this question further. So we have been given that this equations have infinite number of solutions and we know a condition that says for infinite solutions, delta, basically that is determinant of coefficients of x, y, and z should be equals to delta 1, should be equals to delta 2, should be equals to delta 3, and all of them should be equal to 0. Let's understand what I mean by delta 1, delta 2, delta 3. So delta, if I first figure out, I'm finding the determinant of coefficients of x, y, and z, which is 2, 3, minus 1, 1, alpha 3, and 3, minus 1, beta. So that's delta. If delta 1, if I figure out, so instead of coefficients of x, you will put all the constant terms that you have, that is 5 minus 4, 7. And the other two columns, you will write it as it is. So 3 alpha minus 1 and minus 1, 3 beta. Delta 2. So for delta 2, you will write this constant terms instead of the coefficients of y. So you can write 5 minus 4, 7. And other terms you write at, as it is as delta. So 2, 1, 3 and minus 1, 3 beta. And delta 3, if I want to figure out, I'll write the first two as it is. So 2, 1, 3, 3 alpha minus 1. Instead of minus 1, 3 beta, you would write 5 minus 4, 7. So if I try to solve this question further, now it tells me delta 2 is also equal to 0. Delta 3 is also equal to 0. So let's put that and find the answer delta 2 is equal to 0. So determinant of 2, 1, 3, 5, minus 4, 7. The third column is minus 1, 3, beta is equal to 0. So if I further try to solve this question, I get here determinant 2, minus 4, beta, minus 21, minus 5, you get beta minus 9, minus 1, you get 7, and minus of minus 12, so plus 12, equals to 0. So if I solve this further, I get minus 8 beta, minus 42, minus 5 beta, plus 45, minus 1 into 19, which is 19. You get this. So I get minus 13 beta. It's equals to, I take all the numbers on the other side, so it becomes 42 plus 19 minus 45. 42 plus 19, it's basically 61 and minus 45. 42 plus 19, it's, yeah, 61 and minus 45 gives you 16. So 61 minus 45, you get this as 16 and that's basically minus 13 beta. So from here, I get 13 beta, it's equals to minus 16. And if I see, I'm just keeping it as 13 beta because if you see, I have to figure out the value of 13 alpha beta. And from this, I know 13 beta. 
So I now just need to find alpha's value. Let's do that. So to find alpha's value, I know the third determinant wherein instead of coefficients of z, you have put the constants that is also equals to zero. So if I do that, delta three is also zero. So determinant of this equals zero and determinant of two, one, three, three alpha minus one and five minus four seven. This determinant is equals to zero. So if I further try to solve this also, I get two seven alpha minus four minus three, you get seven minus of minus 12, so plus 12. Plus five, this becomes minus one minus three alpha equals zero. So if I solve this further, I get 14 alpha minus eight minus three into 19, which is 57 plus five. So minus five, because plus five is multiplied with minus one and minus 15 alpha. So if I solve for this, I get 14 alpha minus 15 alpha, which is minus alpha. And here you get minus eight minus 57, which is minus 65 minus five. So minus seven equals zero. So from here I get alpha is minus seven. So I get the answer for this question here that alpha is minus 70 and 13 beta. We have got that as minus 16. So if I want to figure out the answer for 13 alpha beta, it basically becomes 13 beta is minus 16. And alpha, we know from here, it says minus 70. So if I just put and multiply here, minus into minus is plus. 16 into 70 is 0. And 16 fives is 80. 16 six is 92. So 16 sevens is 112. So you get 1, 1, 2, 0. And if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, it is option B. So B becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using infinite solutions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, Please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.